Well, boys, there she is. Our brand new water heater. Ain't she a beauty? Yep. This is the best water heater ever. God bless us, everyone. You know why Tiny Tim walked with a crutch? Because he had a smart mouth. <laughs> That's right. So, guys, tomorrow is the anniversary of Donna's and my first kiss. And just for that, I'm going to give her something really special. You've been trying to give her that for a year, and so far... <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Something nice. Forward, man, trust me, okay? Just pick her some flowers. The fact that you even remembered will guarantee you some action. <laughs> and who doesn't love the action, huh? <laughs> Check out this necklace. Wow, man, is that real gold? No. <laughs> real diamonds? No. <laughs> but it costs 60 bucks. Nice! <laughs> So, if you all please avert your eyes, I have to uh, get my secret stash of cash. What, you mean your Candyland stash? <laughs> I don't keep my money in the Candyland box. You moved your money from the Candyland box? Oh, shut up and turn around. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, someone stole all my money. From Candyland? How could such a sad thing happen in such a happy place? All right, where's my money? What money? The money you stole from my... <laughs> special place. <laughs> you mean the pathetic bundle of ones you keep in your little Candyland game? So you admit you knew where it was. Okay, Eric, first of all, you were a mistake. Ask mom and dad. <laughs> and second, if I did steal it, I'd tell you to your face, and then I'd steal it more. Yeah, that does sound like you. Damn, who took my money? Isn't it obvious who took it? I mean, think about it. No morals, lack of character, bad reputation. So you did take it. You idiot, hide. He's staying down in the basement. He's poor. He steals stuff. No. No, Hyde wouldn't do that to me. I'm sure you're right, Eric. He's a real good friend. So, Kelso tells me Hyde tried to steal Donna last year. Is that true? No. <laughs> I mean, well, he tried, but he didn't succeed. Mm, that's not much better, is it, Eric? Was I really a mistake? They sued the condom company. Hey, Mom, when you were cleaning up downstairs, you didn't happen to come across 60 bucks, did you? Oh, Eric, did you lose your Candyland cash? Does everyone know where I keep my money? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. It was a good hiding place. Oh, maybe you put it in chutes and ladders. No. I checked. I mean, I don't know who could have taken it. At first, I thought it was Lori, but... Oh, honey, no. Lori wouldn't steal from you. She steals from me. Right. So that only leaves one person. I mean... He does live in the basement. Oh, okay. Now, if you are talking about Stephen, I'm going to get mad. He is a good apple, and he is your friend, and you can trust him. Can I? I mean... No, Mom, I hate thinking this. It's just... It all adds up. I mean, if not Hyde, then who? Well, it could be... <laughs> okay, you know what? I do not want to talk about this anymore. Okay. Oh, <laughs> here comes a dumb question. Uh, that wasn't a mistake, was I? Oh, for... for... Okay, who wants some cocoa? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, what are you doing, Red? I borrowed Eric's Candyland money to pay for the water heater. <laughs> you, uh, you took Eric's money? Shh. He didn't know a thing about it. <laughs> it's back now. He'll be none the wiser. Hey, how you doing? Look, Hyde, I just got back from hanging out with Donna. And you know what? Hyde, I don't even care what happened to my money. Because money doesn't make the world go round. You know what does? Screw you, you called me a thief. <laughs> it's love, that's right. <laughs> love makes the world go round. Well, that's great. Because Red took your money. <laughs> right, Hyde. My dad took it, yeah. <laughs> Why don't you ask him, Foreman? Uh, Dad, Hyde said you took my money. Oh, yeah, I was a little short on the water heater. Thanks for helping out. <laughs> Good news, buddy, you're cleared. <laughs> Why don't you get bent, man? Wait a minute. You accused Steven of stealing your money? Well, yeah, but to be fair, Dad, that's before I found out you stole it. <laughs> Which brings up why you didn't ask me, and also, you know, you could have told me. Well, you could have. Okay. I'm sorry that I took some money out of your little box. <laughs> When I feed you and clothe you and put a roof over your head. Sorry. <laughs> now, how could you do that to Stephen? He's your best friend. Well, he made a move on Donna. Oh, come on. Okay. <clears throat> well, then there's only one thing that we can do. Nine rounds of bare-knuckle boxing. <laughs> Come on. Help me move the couch. <clears throat> Wait, uh, Dad, I don't... No, 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 no. I'll referee. Believe me, when it's over, you'll both feel great. <laughs> I know I will. Right. Look, if you're not mad enough to bare-knuckle box, then you're not mad. Now, both of you need to just get the hell over it. Once again, Red's simple, earthy wisdom saves the day. Yeah, ain't he a peach? Look, Hyde, I just... God, I'm so sorry. You know what, man? You either forgive me for what happened with Donna or you don't. You can't keep throwing that in my face. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um, it's over. I'm never gonna bring it up again. I promise. Yeah, all right. Whoa. Man, she got you this watch and only got her with those crappy flowers? <laughs> you loser. Yeah, <laughs>